A Shrewd Farmer's Story Once upon a time, there lived a farmer who worked far from his home in the fields of a rich baron. In the past, gangs of bandits hid in the mountains, rising behind the plains. But the emperor had sent his soldiers to find and kill the thieves, and now the area was safe and quiet. Oh my! Another weapon? Every once in a while, however, old weapons from past battles could be found in the fields. While he was chopping a stump one day, the farmer found a bag full of gold. <gasps> Is it gold? Now the farmer had only ever seen silver coins in his life, and he was so astonished to find all that gold that when he started walking home, it was already dark. What must I do with so much gold? On his way home, the farmer thought about the problems that his sudden wealth could cause him. Hmm, but how can I use this gold? Everything found on the Baron's territory will belong to the Baron. By law, the farmer had to hand the gold over to the Baron. The farmer decided that it was much more fair for him to keep the treasure. The Baron has a lot anyway. I am poor, and I need this money more than him, so I shall keep it. But... He realized the risk he would run if anyone found out about his luck. I must not tell anyone about it. But what about my wife? She cannot keep her mouth shut or keep a secret for God's sake. And as soon as she opens her mouth, I will be thrown in the jail. Now what must I do? He thought the problem over and over until he found a solution. And he did find it. So before getting home, he left the bag full of gold in a bush next to some pine trees. And the day after, instead of going to work, he went by the village to buy a few nice trouts, some doughnuts, and a rabbit. In the afternoon, he went home and said to his wife, Get your wicker basket and come with me. Yesterday it rained, and the wood is full of mushrooms. We must get to them before someone else does. Ah, mushrooms! Let's go, hurry up! The wife, who loved mushrooms, picked up her basket and followed her husband. When they got to the woods, the farmer ran to his wife, shouting, Look! Look! We have found a donut tree! And he showed her the branches he previously loaded with donuts. Oh! Oh my! Donuts on the tree! Yeah! Who would have thought? Anyway, go find the mushrooms in the grass over there. The wife was astonished but she was even more puzzled when, instead of mushrooms, she found trout in the grass. <laughs> Look, dear, there is a trout in the grass! <laughs> Today is our lucky day. My grandfather said that everyone has one lucky day. We might even find a treasure. In addition to being a gossip, the farmer's wife was also a sucker. So she believed her husband and repeated while looking around, This is our lucky day! This is our lucky day! And she kept finding fish in the grass. The basket of the woman was full of fish by now. When she and her husband reached the banks, the farmer ran ahead of her, looked into the thicket and said, Yesterday, I laid out my nets, and I want to check whether I've caught any fish or shrimps. A few minutes later, the wife heard the husband's excited voice. Run and see what I've caught! What extraordinary luck! I fished a rabbit! They were walking back home, and the wife kept talking excitedly about the great dinner with the donuts, the fish, and the rabbit. The farmer smiled and said, <laughs> Let's go by the wood again. We could find other donuts. Ah, yes. Let's go. 
they went to the spot where the farmer had hidden his gold coins. The farmer pretended to find something. <gasps> Look over here! There's a strange bag and it's full of gold! <gasps> what? What are you saying? Yes, I guess this is an enchanted forest. We found the donuts on the trees. Then we found the trout in the grass. And now, gold! The poor woman was so excited that tears filled her eyes. She could not utter another word and gulped as she touched the shiny coins. <gasps> so much gold! And now it's ours? Yes, dear. At home after dinner, neither of the two could fall asleep. The farmer and his wife kept getting up to look over the treasure they had hidden in an old boot. The day after the farmer went back to work, but first said to his wife, Don't tell anybody about what happened yesterday. Of course not. I am not a fool. And he repeated the same recommendation every day after that. Pretty soon, however, the entire village had heard about the treasure. The farmer and his wife were called by the Baron, and when they went in to see him, the farmer tried to stand behind his wife. I heard you found a treasure? Oh, we sure did, sire. Can you please tell me where and how? In an enchanted forest. His wife, at the request of the Baron, spoke first of the donuts, then of the trout on the grass, and lastly of the rabbit in the river. Meanwhile, behind her, the husband kept tapping his forehead with his finger and gesticulating to the Baron. The Baron began looking at the woman with pity. And then I bet you found a treasure there, too. That's right, sir. The Baron turned to the farmer and tapping his finger on his forehead sympathetically said, I see what you mean. Unfortunately, I have the same problem with my wife. The farmer and his wife were sent home, and no one believed their story. And so the shrewd farmer didn't go to jail and spent his money wisely. <laughs>